hi everyone welcome to the glimpse business oh this is my first video and i'm glad you are here now in this video i'm going to show you how to create and verify your halipay account as a foreigner in 2025 whether you are a person from china or you are traveling to china on business trip or on tourism this video will help you just with your phone and your passport you can actually verify your halipay bank needed no chinese I follow me through thank you go store and type in halipay so this is it you type in halipay anguans technological limited not alipay hq so that is the alipay you are going to install on your phone once you install it you agree to their terms and privacy policy once you agree it will bring you here you will click sign up this is it now you will click sign up on alipay but if you have account before you can just log in with your phone number or your mail but if you are just registering alipay you can click on sign up then you sign up with your email or your phone number your country phone number so once you click on sign up with email like this now i'm doing it with mail you put in your mail there then you put in your you then you click on sign up then you agree to their terms and condition once you agree it's loading then you perform the captured verification just to show that you are a woman. So it's loading now. Then a notification will be sent to your mail. This is it. You can see. You click on your mail. You put your notification there. You insert it on the page box. So this is it now. This is the Alipay homepage. You can see that it's logging in. Once you enter it, you ask you to enter your country code. I'm taking Nigeria as an example. Click on Nigeria. You can click any country that you are. Then this is the home page. Now you already sign up on Alipay. So the next thing for you to do now, allow payment and other important notification. Yes. Just click yes. Then this is the Alipay home page now. So presently the account is used. So we can't make use of it until we verify our account. Once we go to our account, you click, you see add account information to complete registration. You click on it. You, it says you should add our phone number and our passport. We are not adding bank card because we are not making use of bank card for verification. So we can go back. We can go back to our home page. Now, this is the home page. You click on account. Once you click on account, it will take you to your profile. Then you will click this setting button. This is it. So once you click it, it will take you to account and security. That is it. You click on account and security, it will take you to identity information. You can see now, it says verify now. You click on verify now, it will take you to a where you have to fill, input your passport details. Now, you input your passport details and you submit. Then once you submit, you can see here, it said, please verify that this, this. It said, upload passport one right second one is verify chinese mail and bank card then the third one is verify passport chip please we are clicking verify passport chip that's what we are using now once you click on verify passport sheets it will load and it will bring you here so now this is the ship passport you can tell by looking at the cover of your passport make sure your phone has its nfc function turned on then hold your passport when it prompts you to scan if it does not scan at first adjust the position well and move the passport around the back of your phone after the ship reads successfully you will do a quick scan face then you have to scan your face you can see now look straight into the camera in, in a well light place you can see it's just look into this camera then after you come so after you scan it will show id validated not authenticated so you click on name rename verification so we are verifying the second time then you will click passport ship again verify passport ship this is the second time i'm doing it though hey now to say start verification so you will click you can see now it's saying scanning fee let me try again hey Scan successful. I think that is successful. I place my passport under the phone. So it's showing scan successful. You can see that it's loading now. Now you can see ID information completed. You click done. It has changed now to verify, right? So what you do, 
then you will now go to the verification photo and you will now upload you will click on it then you will now upload your international passport again don't just scan it don't upload the one you have on your phone don't scan don't try to scan just snap it like that because if you do not snap it and if you upload the one you have on your uh, phone photo they will restrict your account it will bring because here you can see upload now but because i've uploaded mine that's why if it's your own you will just click the end uh, like this then you will take photo don't upload from your album if you upload from album they will restrict your account so what you need to do is to take photo then you take photo then it will show like this Most put your buttons then you go to account and security then you go, this is it now you see login password you will click on login password then you will set up your password make sure it's password that you can remember type in your password twice and that will be all so write your password down that's all if you bring out um security check after this then you are going to it's going to be good that you should set your password then you can click your password thank you now how will you know you are verified i also know you are verified you will click here you will click this arrow this center where the, your number your phone number or gmail is you will see we just click here also click there you click identity information this is it this is identity information then you click identity information you can see that it's showing let me drag up okay, then you can see that it's showing verified here yeah. you can see that it's showing verified let me show you i'll scan it because i contact a little customer service and they say i can someone can use another person phone to get verified then once you verify you can log in back on your phone that's if your phone does not support nfc function but try it with your phone but mostly iphone iphones for, um mostly does the uh, and that is it you've seen how to sign up and verify your hali pay as a foreigner in 2025 now if you are interested in china importation business or you are doing business in china you can just subscribe to my channel more videos that might help you are coming your way so subscribe to my channel thank you for watching bye